Hello, in this video tutorial today I'm going to show you and tell you all about the border functions of QueerImage Ultimate. First of all I'm going to just explain that I'm using metric units and secondly I want to tell you the difference between margins and borders. And margins refer to the area around the edge of a page which is not printed upon. And this can be seen on the page preview over here if you follow my mouse. This grey area indicates that there is a non-printable area which is the page margin. Borders apply to an image and a print. And that of course may well be smaller than the page. So let's put some images in the queue. And the first one I'm going to put in here is of this seat head and then of this orchid. These were taken in a wildflower meadow close to my home. Now I'm going to select that top image there of the seed head and it's important that it's selected. Right mouse click and get the print properties box viewable. As you can see there's a border section down the bottom here <coughs> and I'm going to first of all make the first border closest to the print. I'm going to choose a colour and I'm going to choose this light grey which will be easily visible on this video. And I'm going to make that 5mm. And there we are, you see the 5mm border appear on the preview. Now, for the second border, <coughs> I'm going to choose a different colour and I'll choose black. Again, something you'll easily see. And I'm going to make that only 2mm. And there, that is showing on the preview. Now, if I hover my mouse over this preview, you'll see the size of the image is 150 by 100 millimeters. That is because I've selected B. And when you select B, borders go inside the selected print. Now, if I select B+, plus, the borders go outside the selected print. So click that, and you see that the image has now become 164 by 114 millimeters overall. But the actual picture in the middle is still 150 by 100 millimeters. Okay, that's that. Now let's have a look at this image of the orchid below here. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different and show you <coughs> another place in QImage where you can set borders. We've done it first of all using the print properties dialog, but now I'm going to show you how to use it in the edit page feature. As you can see, this first image of the seed head um, is selected and you can see the settings, the parameters we applied um, is from the print properties box. So that's duplicated. So I'm going to select this image now and for the first border I'm going to use pick with dropper. <clears throat> I'm going to select this mauve colour of the orchid petal and make that uh, two millimeters. There we go. And there's a two millimeter border of a color that exactly matches <coughs> the color of the orchid petals. Now for a second border, I'm going to again pick with dropper and use this pale grainy area uh, in the background and make that five millimeters. And there we go. So we there have um, the image with two borders that are matching colors exactly that are in the real image. Now there again we see we have a B and a B plus here and because we're on B the image is 100 by 150. We select B plus and we get an overall size of 114 by 164 millimeters. But of course the actual image inside the border is the 100 by 150. Okay just click done. Now I'm going to clear the queue. I shall uh, right click and select all, right click again and clear queue. Now for the second part of this uh, demonstration I'm going to use another image. I'll put in the queue. Oh, it's got um, the old border settings. So OK, let's um, get rid of those. We can click the first border and it says clear both borders. Oh, there we go. Note that that image had to be selected for me to do that. Now, 
Um, I want this really to be a landscape page to demonstrate this. And I'm also going to make this uh, print size just a bit bigger so it's a bit uh, clearer for you to see. OK, so I've selected 150 by 200 millimeters. I've picked this particular image because it's got features on it which, which will show the particular sort of border I'm going to use. Now, I guess many of you will make canvas wraps and print on canvas roll. Now, QImage Ultimate has a feature that enables you to print special borders for canvas wraps. And you can see these here in border position one close and you see there's canvas edge mirror and canvas edge stretch. Let's just show you the canvas edge stretch first. I'll make that uh, 20 millimeters. And what QImage does there is take a portion of the edge of the image and stretches it beyond to make the, uh, the border. Uh, the other one that you can use is uh, mirror. And there you can see that the edge of the image has been mirrored to produce that border. Now it's shown on the preview as a darker tone, but of course it is actually printed in the correct tone that matches the, the, the real image. I should point out here that it is important that you use the B plus setting because you want your image to match your frame size, which you've set here in this case as uh, 100, uh, sorry, 150 by 200 millimeters. So, okay. Now, you can use the second border feature to make um, some additional material for you to wrap around the back of your frame. And again, I'm just going to choose this gray color so it's easy to see. And I'm just going to put a figure in here of, say, okay, just 10 millimeters. Oh, now, look at that. It says that little one by two there. What QImage is telling you is that the overall print size is too big for the page and it's going to spread it over two pages. So what I'll do, I'll just tweak that a little and I'll make that <clears throat> say 15 millimeters. Okay, so it all fits in nicely within that page preview. Now let's have a, just a, a little bit of a more detailed look at this in the edit page view. And you, you, know, you can see the overall sizes, you can see the the mirror size and the second border size and the fact that it's B+. Plus. Now, uh, just to please my friends in the United States, although I'm working in metric units, you'll see that in the UK here, our road signs are still in the good old units of miles here. And on that bridge sign, it's not perhaps not that clear. It's in fact in feet and inches. So that's just for my US friends. OK, let's click Done. Now. Well, the other thing I should have said, this number plate is uh, obliterated simply for privacy reasons. Now, one other feature that I wanted to show you linked with canvas wraps is that there is an edge feature and you can choose to print some guidelines on your canvas. And this will print a solid black line with center and fold marks in the border. So that'll help you to cut and fold your canvas prior to placing it on your frame. OK, select that. OK, that's it. That's QImage Ultimate Borders. Thank you for watching.